Okay, Final Fantasy for fans and first timers. <laughs> oh, oh, how is that? How that for fans? Definitely, I'm pretty sure for first timers. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. From what I've seen so far, everyone seems... Oh, text. English, of course. Voice. Sing. Oh, shit. You could have German and French dubbing, too. Hmm. That's cool and all, but I'm going to stick to my American English. Uh... Oh, this is new. I'm saving... I should be saving this on a television because I don't own a home theater. These icons appear when the game is saving. Please do not turn off your PlayStation 4 system while they are on screen. Okay. Hey there guys, this is Basinger313 here with a brand new Let's Play, or if you could say maybe a continuation from the demo, Final Fantasy XIV, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in the demo, actually, though, I actually got the Xbox One version, and here I am owning the PS4 version for some reason. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I didn't think, I, I honestly don't think that the dem whatever the demo had to offer, what, uh, the bonus rewards I can get, I don't think they're probably that good enough for me to warrant the uh, Xbox One version because from what I played, the Xbox One version is actually the worst port to get to uh, get. So I decided to get the PS4 version. That and my girlfriend's getting a PlayStation 4 soon, so if she wants to borrow this game, then she can do so easily. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't actually know. I probably want to uh, enable the subtitles. What the hell happened? Why is it dark screen? I don't think I pressed the. Uh, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure why they didn't just go toward the uh, main menu instead of fading to black, but whatever. Subtitles on. Oop, wait, what? Oh. Default, I guess. And sure, why not? In case we need anyone. Or in case we need to know anyone who wants to uh, talk. Although, to be fair, I'm mainly into this game for the gameplay because from what I played in a demo, it was fun. It's just. The, main, the huge main complaint I have to say is the frame rate. And that's really the only issue here, because, like, there was definitely, I felt, like, some lag and some, like, choppiness when I played the game. Hopefully they fixed that, I'm not sure. But, uh, because the gameplay was definitely fun. Uh, easy mode reduces the challenge of combat to probably help you pinch. Fuck no. I'm surprised they only started you off with two tutorials, though. The tutorial offers a direct explanation about the combat and, s about the story and the combat system of the game. Mm, I guess, just so in case I could review on the combat system, I just probably don't give a shit about the story, though. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be talking over through a lot of the cutscenes because of that. Not only for copyright purposes, but because it just doesn't interest me at all when I first, like, I've, I watched through the trailers, uh, look at the characters' backstories, they just really don't interest me, though, so... I was like, oh, that's a cute little... Moogle? Is that what it's called? Oh, Rumble Features on. Hey there, not. That's a do I know you even look. Oh, come on, let me read the. You may not know me, but I know you. As a matter of fact, I've been watching you all ever since you were little. Oh my god, the subtitles are really fast. There's, here's, this is here's an old training room of the world of your dreams. I'm gonna teach you the ins and outs of the world, and I can't voice act, unfortunately, because I have to read really, really fast in order to get everything. Okay. Alright, from what I'm seeing so far... Oh. Comment tutorial. Just from that cutscene, but I, I probably need to see it through interactively. Uh... Gladio says he'll help you train. What a pal. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Alright. Hopefully I can try and remember what the combat system is like. Combat basics. Defend yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot the Xbox One controller was really bad too, so that's also, I guess, another reason why I should want... I will want to switch to the PS4 version. Defending! Uh, first let's practice defending. Square, phase. Hold square automatically evades attacks. The key is to defend slightly ahead of time. Okay. I'm holding square right now. Alright, I think I'm starting to remember this. Oh! Okay, yeah! Frame rate is a lot better. I, I don't know if it's 60. It looks like it's kind of locked at 30 frames per second. But it definitely feels a lot more fluid and smooth this time, so... So far, it actually feels nice. Thank God. So I'm, I'm probably going to enjoy the gameplay a lot more then. Alright, now it's time for your turn to strike. Blitz. Hold circle to automatically chain attacks. Tilt the control stick while attacking to change the way of the combo. Oh, fuck, I forgot to. Damn it, I forgot to turn on the timer. I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. 
Alright. So, square, or sorry, not square, circle. Strike a foe from the behind to deliver a blind side, 50% more damage. Okay. Alright. Let's try to attack from the behind this time. If I can. How do I target him? Alright, there we go. Maracha music! <laughs> Circle behind and whack with all you got, okay. Alright, so I'll need to bash the circle button. I could just hold the attack and use the directional key to the, the circle pad to, I guess, to check my attacks. Parrying! Block square, counter with circle. Certain enemies' attacks can be parried. A shield will appear, signaling for you to defend. After defending with square, swiftly uh, press circle to parry. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I failed there. I think I need, it has to like, be like a time-specific thing, so... Parry three times. Okay. Come on. What the hell? I'm pressing square. Am I supposed to hold it? I don't think I'm supposed to hold it, am I? I am supposed to hold it! Never mind, I thought it was gonna be like a time thing or something. So you get more extra boost or something. Uh, that kind of sucks. Like I kind of wish that like parrying would work if it was like kind of like Street Fighter 3 where you had to like specifically like or also in like Paper Mario I guess as well. But it seems like all you have to do is just hold the square button and then it'll just do the job for you and you can parry by just smashing circle or holding circle in this case. Noctis will take heavy damage if you fail to perform the initial block. Stay on guard and be ready to defend at all times. An intensive drill is available for you to hone your parrying skills. Okay. Alright, so that's basically the combat, or the parry, the blocking, and the attacking portion of the tutorial, I'm guessing. Okay, time to pull all that into practice. Attack, defend, and parry way to victory. Alright, let's try this out. Oh, thank god the thing's not inverted. Thank fucking god. Oh. Gotcha. Although it doesn't really target the enemy unless there's like a- No! Oh! I hold the- uh, I, I wish it was kind of more like a toggle, like in uh, Kingdom Hearts. I kind of don't like holding the bun. Oh shit! Okay, let's close one. Yeah, I don't like holding the bun in order to like target him, but uh, whatever. Hey, I got a D for time, unfortunately, but whatever. I got offensive A and finesse, so I'm guessing I did all fancy shit like that too. Uh, redo current tutorial. Fight Gladius again. Lore guide or begin new game. Let's go to the next tutorial. Warping and MP, just in case. I know I did play the play uh, the demo beforehand, but I need to like remember so that I could actually properly play this a lot properly. It's a good thing they actually include an optional tutorial this time. So thank thank God. Like if they require you to go through the tutorial every single time you play through this game, I I feel that might be a chore. So like it's a good thing this thing's optional. All right. The warping time. Oops, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, I saw a triangle for a second. I accidentally pressed X uh, uh, too quickly, unfortunately. Alright, perform a blade warp. Throw triangle to throw your sword. Lock on. With that. Okay, triangle. Right stick, and then track. Okay. The camera stays centered on the target. Okay. Alright. Lock on. And then, triangle. That's nice work, let's move on. Point warping. In addition to warping enemies, Noctis can also point warp to specific location. Look around, triangle, okay. So, there you go. There's a warp point right there, I'm gonna press triangle. Alternatively, I could use right stick to look at the marker. Okay. Then, with right stake, then hold, hold triangle. Oh, I pressed it. I didn't hold it. Oh, his hand's clipping. Yeah, ew, okay. Uh. Okay. This guy, of course, requires MP, which I'm not sure. I'm guessing that's magic points. I'm not sure exactly how you refill it. It looks like it refills over time, so I don't have to worry about that. Warping and phasing consumes MP, which is shown as a blue gauge above Noctis's head. After pointing warping, point warping, as well as the on the bottom right, if Noctis uses MP into deficit, 
He enters stasis, which severely limits his ability. Keep an eye on MP and use items to keep it replenished, okay? Cover with square, stand with square when in cover, okay? So, I'm guessing it's like something like this. Here we go. Oh, oops, that's tumble rolling. No, I wanna, I wanna... I'm pressing square, what the hell? Do to hold it? Oh, I have to hold it, okay, that's why. I can also do 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 Can I also like perform a warp instantly to performing a warp point warp instantly restores all MP. Take note of okay. Alright then. Take cover and restore MP, okay. Try taking down guys using warp strikes alone, okay. Alright. Shit! Okay. Okay, yeah, that time I hold, hold held it. Completely restores your MP, holy shit. I feel like that could be a little bit broken out. Okay. Yeah, that completely- oh, what the hell? So basically you can just warp strike- I'm pretty sure there's like places where you're not allowed to warp strike or something, so... That's my guessing. Oh, goddamn. Okay, right. Status time, I'm generating, and I could- okay. Finesse, uh, whatever. I, I'm good with offense and time, so that's all I care about, I guess. Is getting that A rank. Uh, next tutorial. Resistances. Attack, okay. Attack, okay, a few times. Oops, right, I need a block as well, I keep forgetting. Doesn't seem to be feeling it. Weapons, okay. When striking an enemy, the damage value may appear in different colors. Orange indicates increased damage, while purple increase, uh, indicates reduced damage. Okay, so enemies can be resistant, uh, resistant or weak to different weapons. Swords do not seem to work very well against Gladius, so you will want to try another weapon. Great sword or dagger, okay. So what I'm using right now is some sort of... Oops, ah, hold on. Let's just review this, so yeah. It's purple right now. Let's switch that to whatever that is. This one's neutral. Oh no, it's good against him. Shit, okay. But of course, this thing's really slow too. We gotta be careful. Is it strong against- Oh shit, no! Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's something I have to worry about, I feel, because... Oh, what's this? Noctis has obtained a javelin, a type of pole arm. Equipped it now using the main menu and gear. I feel like this might interrupt the gameplay though, so I feel like if there's a way for me to... No, I don't think this is possible though. But I could... Oh, I could just equip that with that. Where's a broadsword? How do I equip the uh, javelin? There you are. Okay. Yeah, that might uh, interrupt the battle. I don't think it's going to be that much of a big of a deal. Alright, let's try the da javelin. Oh shit! Uh, right, square is blocked, not circle. Gotta remember that. Alright, so I'm gonna have to learn this and beat Gladius in this tutorial, I'm guessing. Use different weapons against Gladius. Okay. You magic? To use magic, you have to equip the- God damn it, let me read the damn text! Okay. Fire times five. So I could use fire time only five times, I'm guessing. Now I just obtain the spell fire. Main menu, gear, change weapon category. Like weapons, spells must be equipped, okay. Where is it again? Is it primary arms attire? Hold on, sorry, what is it again? Secondary, okay. Where will be the secondary one again? Okay. So what would be the secondary uh, attack? Hold on. 
Is that really? It looks like he's saying it's still his, uh, his uh, primary arms, but it's... Oh, well, whatever. Okay. I equip fire. Now what? Use the weapon. Spell casting. Cast weapons. Got it. Jesus fucking Christ! Are you hurt, dude? I'm sorry. He's got he got burned too, so it's like a status ailment. Very cool. In a don't burn me alive, please sort of way. Prime spell, aim, release the cast. Okay. Enemies can be resistant or weak to different elements. Gladius is currently weak against fire. When a weakness is struck, damage appears in or value appears in orange. Okay. No, Noctis cannot warp strike while wielding spell or machinery. So okay, got it. Should take note of that then. Checking resistance. Pause, option, combat. Okay. Wait mode emphasizes strategic elements of combat. Engage, I probably would just go ham, honestly, in this situation. And log into the enemies to analyze it, okay? But that's something I could do if I want to. Here's some elemental energy so you could use what? Alright, synergy, alright. So I... Options, is it? Wait, is it? The same old tricks won't work on Gladio this time. Okay, so I have to find out what he's weak to and then let him have it. Okay. Pretty sure Tudor will tell me what that is. Okay. Oh, it's this button. Okay. Whoops. Not the, not the options button. Is it? Uh, say what? Okay, whatever. Um, considering how I have another ice item. Might as well equip that too. How do I equip it though? Oh, where'd my ice go? Okay, uh. Alright, uh. He's neutral to that. Seems like he's neutral to that too. God damn, that thing can't defend for shit, so I'm not gonna bother using the big sword. That thing's actually strong against him, so... And it looks like he does a lot of damage, too. Alright. Crap. Wow, he's really, like, staggering that a lot. Okay, so... What was the thing to, like, search for him or something? Options, was it? Combat? I saw something about, like, analyzing his weaknesses and such. I... Sorry, I wasn't paging that much. God damn it. Okay, square is block, not not right bumper. I gotta remember that. Okay. Okay, it's probably gonna have to take some time to get used to, maybe. Alright, whatever. He's dead. That's fine. I'm really good offensively. I just need to work on my time and finesse. Last but not least, how about practicing some teamwork? Okay. That's probably the biggest... Thing about uh, Final Fantasy 15, I'm guessing. All right, teamwork. Am I gonna have? Oh, what? I have that asshole. Why can't I have the British dude? No, I want the British dude. Fuck you. Okay, fine. All right, just don't fuck this up, yeah, asshole. Okay, Noctis's friends engage in combat automatically. If they are nearby when Noctis performs a parry or blindside, using a dagger, a great sword, or a pole arm. They may join in a link strike. May join in a link strike. Okay. What enemies behind? Okay. So let's go behind him. Or block or parry? Fuck, right? Square is block. Square is block. Okay. Right, he's not. He's resistant to that, so I should. Yep. Damn it, I, hold, I, I think I was attacking during my attack animation, which is why. Alright. Alright, this is stronger against him. Oh, this thing feels like it's a lot faster than the other sword. Oh, maybe not, actually. Just be my imagination. Nice friends have a unique technique they per perform at his command. Performing a technique depletes the tech bar, which fills gradually in battle. L1 plus a D pad, okay. Pato, you're up! Oh, oh, there's a quick time event as well, okay. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen that in a demo before, so 
that could be fun to use. Follow up. A successful technique creates an opening for Noctis. Plus circle when promptly followed by another attack. Okay. Spend AP. Oh god, this looks like the grid system for Final Fantasy X. Oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be as complicated. Spend AP in the Ascensions menu to learn new techniques and put their Myriad effects to use in battle. Main menu, Ascension. Okay. I'm guessing that I can only do that uh, when I press the main menu button. Have Propo perform Piercer. Danger? Ah! I had no way of blocking, you asshole! When Noctis runs out of HP, of course it's part of the tutorial, he enters into a state of danger. This not only impairs his ability, it also decreases his maximum HP over time and when he takes damage, when his maximum HP falls to zero, the game is over. Noctis recovers from danger with time, or when a friend comes to his rescue. No, no, help me! I'm fine, I can fight on my own! Okay, uh, let's see here. That was more like, let your friends help you, tutorial. Oh, I can also help my partner as well. No, I'm pretty sure he's fine. <laughs> friends also fall into a state of danger when they run out of HP. Unlike Noctis, however, they do not automatically recover and need to be rescued first. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're fine. Don't worry, just walk it off, dude. Come on, dude, don't worry. Broken leg, don't worry, just walk it off. I'm pretty sure it's fine. See, look, Glyce is not even attacking us. Dude, just just drink a potion or something. It's, Dude, you're a fucking wimp, you know that? Come on. Uh. I just pat him on the back and it works? Okay. Yeah, can you just, like, heal from, like, sitting down or something? Recovering from danger does not restore maximum HP. Okay. I can see that. Okay, so that the... Uh, kind of like the, uh, faded gray bar is my maximum HP, while my white bar is my current HP. From what it looks like. Characters can still use items while in danger. If an item targets only one person, select two. Use elixirs to store Noctis and... Promptos, maximum HP. Okay. So it's R1. 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 Oh, that's R1. R2. Oops. Okay. Yep. So this would act automatically happen. It won't, like, affect on the, uh... I think it will affect on the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Restore maximum HP. Oh, I have to continuously... Wait, what? Oh! Oops, there's oopsies. Okay. It doesn't look like it interrupts the battle, so you can pretty much activate your HP, or activate your potions whenever you want. Potions and elixirs lift the state of danger while restoring HP. Okay. Just pretty much get a, lot, a shit ton of those, and I think you'll be fine, right? Yeah. Alright, what is this tutorial? Now team up with Prompto to take down Gladios. Okay. Alright, first off, let's try and figure out his weakness. I don't think it's this sword. It's neutral for him. Blind side, but yeah, that's not. Okay. Oh shit! Sorry, I was. Okay. I can dodge by doing that if I want to. Tech bar's not ready. Knock just say. The tech bar's ready. Knock just say the word. Okay. Uh. Pronto! Alright. So when that happens, left bumper and then one of the D-pad attacks. It seems like it's a- Ooh, I got Beyond Finesse this time. Yay. With your buddies at your side, you got nothing to be worried about. Alright. Looks like it's time for the new game. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned for the next episode of Final Fantasy XV.